World Sports Gymnastics Challenge. First to go in the second rotation, Melinda Cleland. And a small problem there on her landing from the two and a half twist punch front. Very nice amplitude on that straddle jump. Clearly does get good lift off the floor in all her leaps and jumps. Beautiful pair of hopers, which is the straddle jump with full twist. Number falling off the back there, unfortunately. No deduction for that. Whip layout, that's rather an easy tumbling line. She must be having a little bit of technical problems with that at the moment in training. Breather before the last tumbling line. Finishing with a double pike. And Cleland looking a little bit out of sorts in that routine. Shushin over jump. Interesting little dance connections there. And sky high straddle jump. That's her mixed series. And a good double pike. Finds a feet. And the score from Melinda Cleland an 8.95. Across on bars, here's Brooke Walker off to a good start on the vault. And this, her specialty event, although she did have a problem here in the team competition yesterday, which is unusual for her. Let's see if she can improve on it now. Toe on, toe off, full pirouette. Del chair, so, so far so good. Stalled her. All the full finishing rather late. She should be finishing within 10 degrees of vertical in order not to have a deduction. Front giant full, very nice so far. Double front, oh dear. Well, yeah. It was looking so good until that dismount, wasn't it? Almost like an action replay of yesterday. Silly, silly error. So not only losing for the fall of five tenths, but also losing the 0 0.2 connection bonus. So a seventh tenth mistake. And proving very costly, an 8.466. And that will almost certainly rule her out of contention in the overall standings. As we move to the beam, and Katarina Fruketic. And our next competitor on beam, Katarina Fruketic. This would probably be Katarina's uh, best apparatus. Lovely start. Nice light feeling to her beam work. And introducing onto the floor, Australia's leg leap Alexander and a straddle jump with half turn. Flick through to a Corbett flick for her series, her acrobatic series. One of the special requirements. And Salto, a minor wobble. Corbett with a full twist.
And well-controlled landing, a lovely routine from Fakedic. So far, so good for Katarina. Two down, two to go. And there's the dismount, good height, a little bit of leg separation and a small step. And a great score, a 9.55. Now Alana Slater, moving on to one of her best pieces of apparatus on the bars. Had some minor problems in the team competition, was going through beautifully and made an error on a relatively easy part towards the end of the routine. Half turn. There's a lovely high Jaeger. And there's a nice connection to the high bar. Shows good position. Needs to go nice and straight here on the hop pull. Tiny bit off direction. And she made it through that little problem part from yesterday. Giant full dismount. Well, she said yesterday she was determined to stay focused until the landing today, and she's done just that. That was a terrific routine. The coach is happy with her today. And there's that one of those release elements. There's a giant fall and the dismount well above the high bar. Well, she was in fourth position coming into this round, a 9.566 will certainly help her in the overall race. This is the leader, though, Alona Kvasha of the Ukraine. She's on the beam. Front Salto and a hesitation there. She actually hesitated on that in the team event as well, so she will not get the bonus for that connection. Change leg, side leap. <laughs> Salto will wobble there. It's a little jump up to handstand. Forms that well. Combination into the side salto. I think with a little bit of experience, this uh, gymnast is going to be extremely good. That change leg leap was almost uh, a nothing. In fact, I don't even think she'll be given the value for that certainly lacked amplitude. Combination round off flip, double salto, all big steps out of that, and that's at least a 0 0.3 deduction with that number of steps. So she, um, unfortunately, was doing quite a good routine to that point, this being the other obvious error in the routine. Little cat leap. Side salto connection. So hard to judge that landing. And the combination dismount here, no room for error. She does go off to one side, pulls it too hard, and three large steps back. Well, Kvasha certainly paying the price for those mistakes in 8.65. As we go back to the bars and Lisa Skinner. And next on bars, Australia's Lisa Skinner. Beautiful pirouette work there. Very reliable on those release elements. Slip grip down to counter swing to handstand. Nice connection, good choreography or composition rather. Oh, a little bit off direction, needs to stick. Oh, beautiful routine. Oh, I don't know why she took that step. <laughs> Well, she doesn't either. Well, she was the top scorer on the bars in yesterday's team competition with a 9.725. Another outstanding performance. 
And we can see that L grip pirouetting through to top grip and then into her ginger, which is her release for the routine. Giant full finishing right in handstand. Beautiful leg form throughout that routine. Not quite as good as yesterday, but still a great score, a 9.583. This is Trudy McIntosh getting ready for her beam routine. Flick, flick, layout. Oh, very nicely performed. combination oh, oh big wobble there and the deductions for that would be almost the same as a fall in fact she put a hand on the beam so they may very well take it as a fall What a shame about that front solo. The rest of the routine was really beautiful. Just goes to show how hard this apparatus can be. And very unforgiving for very small errors. Now that's just superb. Here's the front solo. She looks a bit twisted in the hips and uh, there's the very little tape for the fall in that. Double pike. Well, that's a shame, but still a 9.225 for Trudy McIntosh. Over Roshap Keener on the bars. Ukraine team are using a lot of L grip work. Beautiful hop full. Yes, to L grip, giant and to a lovely high Jaeger straight out of that. Stalter, once again, half turn into L grip, half pirouette out again, through to cut tip. It's rather a marathon, this routine, but she looks fairly fresh still. Winding up for the dismount, full in, back out. Very nice display of swinging on bars. Very crisp in all of her pirouette work. She's better known for her work on beam and floor, but very impressive here on the bars. Use that L grip work. L grip into the Jaeger. That's a top grip we see right there. And as she pirouettes out, that's the L grip with the thumbs on the outside, half pirouette out. And a beautiful dismount. And a 9.75 will certainly put her right back in contention. Of course, today's competition is not just the all around, but also apparatus, individual apparatus. As we take a look at Elena Truk. And that mount looks just like a compulsory mount. Although they have now abolished compulsories, won't be performing it at these Olympic Games for the first time. from the front salto, perhaps a little bit heavy. But 
Uh, probably a minor deduction for that. There's that turn in attitude position. That's with the leg at horizontal at the back and bent at 90 degrees. Several girls from the Ukraine team using that combination. And a double twist dismount to finish. Well, she looked much more solid today than she did yesterday. That very nice one and a half turn. We don't see that very often. It really is very difficult. Cat leap, side salto connection. Probably the dismount being the only weak link in the routine, not really very difficult. And it's a great score, a 9.525. Olga Teslenko is preparing for her bar routine now. Stalter, half pirouette into L grip, straight to Jaeger. Once again, back into the L grip giant with a half turn out and to Ginger, straight to the low bar. And here is a little bit of a weak connection from low bar to high bar. Toe on toe off to handstand. Half pirouette into L grip, double front out. Good dis dismount. Nice skiing, her legs glued together throughout, transferring directly to the low bar. Well, she was out of the top six after the first round, but that will certainly help her. 9.666 for Teslenko. Tam Lee, Lee, after a very strong start on bars, steps up to the beam now. Bars and beam are definitely strong for Tam. She has a very, very difficult mount. Perhaps only one other girl in the world performing this one. Round off onto the board. Full twisting Corbett as a mount. Fantastic. Flip layout. Showing full split in her leaps and jumps, which is necessary. A little wolf jump directly into a Corbett fall. One thing about this routine is it has a lot of different elements from different groups. We're not seeing the usual elements that we've been seeing from many of the other girls. It's a bit of a refreshing change. Pam has a second element in her beam routine here, which probably only one or two girls in the world are performing. And it's a sideways anodi to handstand. A little bit of a wobble as she goes into that, but nothing too serious. So two original elements in this routine. Compositionally, it's excellent. Change leg wolf through to a straddle jump three quarters. And the dismount, cartwheel, gain a double twist off the beam. That's an outstanding routine from Lee. It certainly is. That's the way you can work. Okay, two down, two to go. Keep working up to your standard. 
Well, it certainly has been a good day so far for Tamley. I'd watch this mount. Absolutely very, very difficult to perform. And there's that full twisting Corbett. And the dismount once again from a different choice of elements pushes up into a double twist sideways. Very good routine. A unique routine and rewarded by the judges with a 9.525. From on Victoria, floor, Brooke O'Brien steps onto the floor. just went outside the floor area that and O'Brien showing uh, much improvement in her dance quality and expression here She's coming of age Routine from Brooke O'Brien at 16. She's one of the younger members of this squad. She's certainly showing good control in her tumbling. This is a very difficult tumbling line here. Packs 0.5 of bonus into that, but yes, I think she loses a tenth on going outside of the floor. And the triple twist. Watch the feet on the landing. Not quite square. Double pike, pretty good. It's a dynamic little worker, and she picks up a 9.35. Zena McLaughlin, the 1998 Commonwealth Games champion, steps up to the bars now. happening here she's missed out the first part of a bar routine let's see what she's going to do here cast half front half eagle grip double front she's left out just about the whole first half of the bar routine and I'm not sure what's happened she's done a cast half on the wrong side of the bar and just swung back down to the low bar instead of repeating so this is the second half of the routine. She's just done a giant half pirouette into L grip, but she's missed out her front full, heely full Jaeger combination. So, well, considering she missed out so much, she picked up a fairly reasonable score, an 8.616. She had less deductions, I suppose. <laughs> well. Something went on there. I'm not exactly sure what. I don't even and know if she knows what. Jackie Dunn now on the beam. Please welcome Australia's Jackie Dunn. Can we Dunn. look for the mount here that Jackie Dunn does? It's actually called the Dunn. She was the first person to perform it at world level at last year's World Championships, and it's extremely difficult. Round off, half turn. Oh, dear. Haven't seen her miss that for a long time in competition, but she's got to miss it better now than at Olympic trials.
Jack is just recently returned from competing overseas and I know that she wasn't well after she got back, so she's just regaining her form, perhaps. Flick Anodi controls it well at the end. Once again, a very, very difficult combination. Front salto changement. So apart from the mount, everything going well for her. Tuck jump, three-quarter shushin over through to a little hip circle on the beam. Dismount here, cartwheel, flick, double tuck. Oh, well, the middle of the routine was great. Just the start and finish, really. But, uh, when you haven't been well, these are the things which go first. The highly technical elements are the ones which break down the easiest. And that mount is definitely very, very technical. Tuck jump, three-quarter shushin over. A tiny bit crooked at the peak of the split. And the dismount, cartwheel, flick, doesn't get enough lift, keeps pulling really hard and just over-rotates. Well, that's disappointing for Jackie Dunn, an 8.5. She's the last competitor in rotation two. And as we take a look at the standings, we have a change in the top of the leaderboard. Russia Kina moves into the gold medal position on 19.125 and a tie for second between Tam Lee and Alana Slater.